Hi, I'm Glenn Villar. Hi, I'm John. And we're from Renexus Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. Renexus Solutions. Hi guys, so today I'm just going to show you my new DC power supply. It came from Lazada and it costs around 2000 plus. This is a variable uh, DC power supply. You can use this power supply to you know, test for uh, cell phone or for cell phone repair and for uh, laptop repair. Okay, so let's open this box now. Somehow, opening a box is uh, a little bit satisfying. <laughs> Reminds me of when I was very young and was opening presents given by my relatives. But those gates were not wrapped in bubble wrap so let's see there oh nice box okay let's open this box again i hope there was no damage with this cable connector nice I like it it's a banana type on the other end and uh, alligator clips on the other side yeah. they call this banana connector because it probably is shaped like a banana right when you peel a banana and <laughs> I don't know okay so let's put that side aside first and we're gonna open this package Wow. Yeah. So what's inside the carton? So we have the what's this? Probably Okay, so the box is empty. Let's check this out. Sorry for my nails. It's a bit long now. Oh, it's some kind of Chinese writing on it. And uh, I don't know what what is saying. Okay, so pretty much I can't read this one. I'll probably get an application that snaps these characters and translate them directly to English. So we can uh, read it later. So the guys gave us uh, an AU type plug which is compatible with Papua New Guinea plug so I'm happy with this the length of this uh, cord is probably one meter okay so we have the main unit here it's uh, really safe in its protective enclosure casing or whatever you want to call it there it's so tiny see in reference to my hand it's just really small so, so let's remove the plastic covering sheet plastic cover Hey, it's 
something fell off. That looks like a warranty card or something. But I don't know. Yeah, so this is it. It's a slick type, very small, long way, 30 volt, 5 amps, uh, DC power supply. So in front you have the LCD display for voltage and next to it is the amperes and then we have the knob for voltage and okay so we have in front these uh, three connectors here so this is the connector for positive and you have the ground also and uh, what's this the block pin the negative port okay you can insert the uh, u-shaped connector there and tighten this knob or you can plug the banana type directly in front which is this type then we have the power switch here and the model for this is LW-K305D so I think I guess that this number here stands for the voltage 30 volt and 5 for amperes On the side, you can see that there are holes for for it to breathe properly. Probably, sorry. At the back is always oh, yeah. So at the back there's a pen, and then there's this uh, switch. Oh, so there's switch for for selecting either 110 volts or 220 volts. So in Papua New Guinea, the voltage is around 220 to 240, so we're going to select that voltage. And here is the port for power. Underneath is just simple. You can see that there are rubber mats here to protect it. So as a standard procedure before running something like this, if you're not really, um, if you don't really care much about the uh, warranty you can actually need open this thing and check for any loose wires before we plug it in I'm gonna just go ahead and get a screwdriver and I'll come back again one eternity later okay so I don't have a screwdriver so I'm just gonna use my drill electric drill here to loosen up the screws Okay, there we go. You can now remove this cover. Slide this out. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, let's inspect it first. We go at the back first. Okay. Looks like this side here is okay. We don't see any shorting, I mean, loose. This one too is nicely done. Not loose. On this side too. These three are nicely soldered. These three here too are nicely soldered. This one here is nicely soldered too. So we go at the front side. Let me check the connection for the. Mm -hmm. So there's a ground. The ground is on the top one. And it goes, the blue one here goes to that side. That's the ground. So. Everything seems to be screwed except for this one. There's a small strand there that is coming out, protruding, but I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it was short. <laughs> it's something else. Okay, the fan is also nicely 
connected to this connector here and all of the connectors are probably connected properly and here also in front I don't see any loose wire here hmm. the capacitors are still okay no signs of flux the board is pretty clean so for this one here, the capacitors, okay, yeah, I think it's pretty nice, pretty neat. So underneath also it's stocked properly. So I'm going to put the cover back on and screw it again. here the feet are held nicely so now we can test it Let's, uh, plug it make sure it's 220 volt so let's plug this thing in now press the power on Let's touch it if I there. So it's set to 3.0 volt. 30, sorry. Yeah, in my in my camera you'll see that it's like you can see those vertical lines or diagonal lines, right? It's because the L C D and the you know the hertz is not synchronized with this L C D so it's okay, you'll probably be seeing that. So sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, let's proceed with our testing. So here the voltage, you can turn this voltage down. This knob down. Once you turn this knob down, it's going to adjust the power too. So so it's not a rotary. So once you reach the maximum, it, uh, minimum level, it just turned into zero. So you can adjust it again. Let's put it to 3.9. Okay, 3.8. Let's connect the banana cable. Put it onto the red and the black to group negative. And then <clears throat> we'll use my tester to test for its voltage okay so power on select 220 and we clip this red one to the red side it's so simple and the other to the block okay as you can see as you can see there i connected the block the negative the connected the probe negative probe to this um, negative side of this and that goes the same for the red and the reading says 3.8 here and then on my <clears throat> on my senate uh, tester elect a multimeter it's also say showing 3.8 so let's adjust the voltage up let's put it 5.5 5.6 yeah there's a var variation of 0 0.05 but since this is a one, two, three, three digit display, I won't be able to show the extra digit 
at the end but they're pretty the same so yeah nice i think this is pretty accurate and this one too so let's start let's try this one on an actual phone power up and the connectors So I have a J, Samsung J2 here, tools. So let's see and try if we can boot it using this uh, long way um, power supply. So <clears throat> if you look at the power rating here, it says 3.8 volts. And uh, the way to test the uh, connect your lead here is to check your battery first, which one is positive and which one is negative. So you can see that the first contact is positive, the third is the negative. So we're going to go and go ahead and flip the alligator picture. third and first now let's power on again there all right so that's all for this long way um, power supply I'm gonna be using this for repairing uh, cell phones and um, laptop in the future um, I think this is a wise purchase because it's cheap and it's nice and it's sturdy and it's accurate. So, yeah, guys, if you find this um, blog video again useful, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, well, uh, I think the DC power supply here is a very useful tool, uh, especially for fixing phones or anything else. Uh, as a uh, uh, they've said it um, helps with uh, fixing phones or anything, and it's uh, very affordable and it's very useful for use. Uh, could you try this PNG? Um, I am not sure. I haven't seen in the shops lately anywhere else in PNG. So I think, yeah, if you order it, it, it I mean, it's a good buy if you order it also. So. Um, yeah, I think the price would be higher than the expected cost. Yes, very much. Uh, as you said, yeah, mostly to fix phones, because I think that's a common trend today. A lot of people are using phones, and uh, most of them, you know, once it uh, goes sideways, uh, people usually don't know how to fix it. So with this, uh, you can find out probably one of the reasons and uh, probably find a solution to fix phones like that. Yeah, so... so Uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, help us reach a lot of views so uh, we can create more content for you. Thank you.